the John Coltrane Pentatonic. Hi, listening to John Coltrane's incredibly lyrical solo on Wise One from his deeply spiritual crescent album, I came across a group of notes that intrigued me that I transcribed so that I could start playing around and experimenting with. So in this video, I wish to share my discoveries and hope that this may inspire you to do the same. Here are the five notes that so caught my attention starting on A. As these are the five notes John Coltrane played, I'm going to call them together the John Coltrane Pentatonic, as it is my video. I will now play in a rubato way some exercises from the accompanying PDF, available at jazzduets.com. The examples I will play are all in C minor, so they contain just these five notes. However, I will vary the harmonic accompaniment, as I want to show over just how many chords it is possible to superimpose this Coltrane pentatonic, which for me makes it so remarkable. Now let's hear the Coltrane pentatonic over just two minor chords, a semitone apart. The same chords Train used on his classic Impressions, and Miles Davis on So What. Here though, from C minor 7 to C sharp minor 7, with the famous So What piano voicings that feature fourths so tremendously. One, two, three, four. Now I am pretty much going to play the same verbatim notes, but this time breaking up the relentless eighths with some rhythm, spicing up the proceedings. Now, changing down a gear, let's hear exercise 3 from the PDF. Played over an eternal progression of chords I came up with after transcribing the solo changes to Wise One by Coltrane. Rubato time again. The theoretical breakdown of this eternal progression and a play-along mp3 are included in the digital package. Now an interlude, let's reset our ears and sensibilities with something slower. Example 11 from the PDF.
Let's now try superimposing the Coltrane pentatonic over a classic jazz progression used on vamps and as a cadence. A7 to D minor 6. Over the D minor I will play D minor train pentatonic. And over the A7 I will play the B flat minor Coltrane pentatonic which yields the flat 9, the sharp 9, the major 3rd, augmented 5th and the flattened 7th. We can keep the same exact verbatim notes, but change the harmony to create different amazing sound emotions. Let's try now superimposing the train pentatonic over a minor 2 minor 7 flat 5, 5 7 1 minor. So in D minor, E minor 7 flat 5, A 7 altered to D minor to B minor 7 flat 5. So on the E minor 7 flat 5, I will play the G minor Coltrane pentatonic. And on the A7 altered, I will play the B flat minor train. And over the D minor and B minor 7 flat 5 chords, I will play the D minor 6 train pentatonic. See the PDF for the theory behind this. To conclude today's presentation, I will be superimposing the John Coltrane pentatonic over the stunning chords of Train's Wise One, which inspired this video, in a cadenza-ish like manner, or at least as much as my technique can muster. a package of Coltrane pentatonic patterns to play in 12 keys, which includes some play-along mp3s for you to practice, available at jazzduets.com. Purchasing this helps support me in the production of future videos like this one. Thanks for watching.